Can you school district teachers celebrate the formation and signing of the U.S. Constitution by 39 founding fathers on September 17, 1787? On September 17, 1787, 39 delegates signed the Constitution. This was an extraordinary accomplishment. Our founding fathers had been concerned about a strong centralized power. As a result, they created a federal system, a system where both the national and state governments have equal power. Representing very different interests and views, the founders made many compromises to make sure all delegates were heard. The U.S. Constitution still stands today as one of the longest lived and most admired constitutions in the world. The Constitution contains a preamble and seven articles that describe the way the government is structured and how it operates. The first three articles establish the three branches of government and their powers. The legislative branch, also known as the Congress, the executive branch, which contains the office of the president, and the judicial branch, which is made up of the federal court system. A system of checks and balances prevents any one of these separate powers from becoming too powerful. Articles 4 through 7 describe the relationship of the states to the federal government, establishes the Constitution as the supreme law of the land, and defines the amendment and ratification processes. On December 15, 1791, the United States of America ratified the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments to the U.S. Constitution confirming the fundamental rights of its citizens. The First Amendment contains rights that many of you are most familiar with, such as the freedom of speech, press, and religion. Today, our Constitution has 27 amendments. Our Constitution has survived for over 230 years and has impacted millions of people's lives. How does the Constitution impact your life? 